What's up guys? Thank you for tuning in for Straight Razor Shave number 191. Today I'm using uh, Declaration Grooming Cerebus. This is a collaboration with Noble Otter and House of Mammoth. I think House of Mammoth did the scent and uh, I think Noble Otter is in charge of the, uh, the splash. Lathering up with the Mozingo ZT3. This is a 28 mil. Here it is. I haven't used it much since it came out. Wow, it's almost, I guess it's almost been a year since this, this, uh, this very hyped collaboration was released. Decided to use it today because I think they're coming out with a twist on this fragrance this year. Here it is. By the way, this is again uh, six six days of growth, maybe almost getting itchy again. So yeah, they're coming out with a green version. I think it's Service Fougere or something like that. Or the other way around. Because right now it's, I would say it's a darker scent. And uh, I don't know how to best describe it. I believe it's sandalwood heavy. But it's a, uh, I get a little bit of like chocolatey vibes and a little bit of a uh, leather, like heavy leather to me. And this milk steak base is right now. Just a reliable performer. It's also a little bit floral. Not like light floral, but sort of potpourri like in a way. Sorry for being terrible at describing scents. Max Sparker 88, Spanish Point. Speaking of which scents, you know, um, still unsure right now, but did go to a, a gathering this past weekend and surprise, surprise. Someone tested positive. And I do know that at this point, you know, many people have gotten it for COVID and some have gotten it multiple times. I haven't gotten it and thought it was, you know, starting to get lax, but okay to hang out and whatnot. But yeah, got that dreaded text message, I guess. But, uh, you know, 
so far so good. Just that I start to think. You may get better. Nothing really, really bad is going to happen, maybe, but most likely, as long as you're healthy and whatnot. But so many people have said, you know, their sense of smell, their sense of taste has not quite returned to what it used to be or whatnot. And, you know, <laughs> so much about life, not just wet shaving, you know, it's scent based. I would hate for that sense of, uh, you know, smell and taste to deteriorate or uh, to, 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 to get worse than it is right now. So even though, you know, the rules have laxed and whatnot, I still try to be a little bit more on the safe side. A lot of money invested in fragrances, wet shaving, wet shaving soaps, and, you know, scents are, scents are awesome. So... That's on the top of my mind. I'm gonna do a test at home to double check in a little bit. Certainly hope everything is good. I have a, a recovering pimple right there. In other news, the Wolfman is here, <laughs> arrived. Um, we got a Set up a sort of a, an unboxing video, maybe after this one. Get that out there, have you guys along for the ride. While I unbox it, open it up. Very excited. Have not had a wolfman in the den for whew, how long has it been? I don't know. Close, almost half a year, maybe.
I still have the carved stainless. I still have the Makira 34 She. But I rarely use them. Mostly straights. I don't know if I'll record the first shave with it. Usually wanna, you know, keep that to myself. Enjoy it for myself. But I'll certainly record a shave with it for sure. Maybe some early impressions after the first few shaves. Unfortunately, I don't have any stainless Wolfman for comparison. I'll do my best to recall from previous experiences with it. What blades should I use with it? Did I just cut my air again? I don't think so. All right, let's do a quick touch up.
that's it for me. Six days of growth gone. I really got to stop racking it up and go for more like three day, four day shaves. But it's a busy month, actually a, another busy month coming in, so. We'll see how many I get out this month. Thank you for watching. Um, Wolfman unboxing is coming up next. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.